Greetings, welcome back to Game Design. This is Lesson 21, Complex Sprite Movements. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to move from counter pattern into velocity. Right? So we've got a lot of pieces, right? We've done the velocity, um, but we're going to move it to that next level, right? So combine velocity, counter pattern, more complex movements. Basically, acceleration right we're gonna go over acceleration so velocity and counter pattern together let's take a look at this your first one is to look at the code think what you think is gonna happen and then guess what it is right so hopefully pause like you've learned before run it do it and then when we run this you're gonna see it's going faster and faster and faster and faster so again we've kind of added acceleration right so it's speeding up and if you look at how they do it the velocity which again velocity starts at zero so I mean there is a default velocity of zero and then 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 and this happens very quickly so you have to watch out that's why the number is so low as you go through this gotta watch it very carefully because that'll go up really quickly All right. so let's go ahead and go to the first little piece of this or to make a scroll, but it's going slowly. Use this property counter pattern. So let's run this. It's going very slowly. So basically, we're just doing what we just saw. So grab the sprite velocity x, and then we can do equal sprite velocity x. It's one problem with copying. And again, it is a car. So car, car. And I'll show you real quick if we use something like two, how quickly this adds up really quick, right? I mean, gone. Um, so again, if you're using acceleration, make sure you understand that really, really, really quickly, it will go fast because the function draw doesn't run every second. It runs like a bunch of times a second, I don't know, like 10 or something like that. But a bunch of times a second, so therefore that two becomes really quick, really fast. So da -da -da. that's the first one. We can use it for other effects as well, as we'll see in these, right? So we run this one, right? If it's falling, 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 and this might make sense to make it go faster as we go through. But really, this one's just to show you that it works the same way for velocity y as it does for velocity x. And if you want something to go up, you use a minus left the minus sign. So and a lot of this is not necessarily super new from the last one, just like most of these lessons do. Get plus and let's do one and try that one out. So there we go. Boom. That kind of looks like gravity, right? Stuff so speeds up as it falls down. Da -da -da. All right, one more before we let you practice on your own and move through it. One thing to think about is you can actually, if you have it go the opposite direction, it'll slow it down. And this is something I'll show you a few things. I don't think it actually asks us to do this, but I do want to show you this because it might help you uh, with this, right? Because uh, that last question. So, partner, what do you think will happen when the car finally stops? So, you might pause or just think about that while you're at it. But let's go ahead. It's velocity x. So, we'll use the right velocity. And it is car again. Now, in this case, we need to minus it, right? We need to minus it, so let's do let's do minus 0.5 for now. And this is something you might have to play around with as you're kind of going through this. So it'll start at 10, then 9.5, blah 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 blah. So 0.5 was too much, but did you notice what happened to it? Right, it shot backwards. There, I was probably going to hit the line. Like, nope. So what you can do is. If parentheses, squiggly bracket, and then we're going to do if car velocity, actually, I think I already have that copied. Yeah, if car velocity is less than, is greater than zero, we go ahead and make classy. Else, let's do that wrong. Else, car velocity equals zero. So remember, car velocity is 10. So it's going still above zero, still above zero, still above zero. So it's going down, it's going down, down. And as soon as it is negative, it might actually, 
I think this might actually make it go back and forth for a little bit, but it should stop at zero. But run it and stop. There you go. It stops because it, it equals zero. Um, because uh, 10 will get to less than zero and then velocity stops. So with that, that is something you'll need to think about as you go through the next practice, uh, being able to make it so it doesn't just shoot backwards. Anyway, short lesson. Uh, we'll see you next lesson. Have a good one.